There are a lot of questions that people have about cycling their systems. This is kind of a tricky topic and it really deserves a lot more time than I can afford to give it. But um, cycling just refers to getting all of the beneficial bacteria established in your system. So before you start adding fish, which will produce ammonia and actually kill themselves, um, if there isn't something processing that ammonia, you want to get all of your bacteria colonies healthy and established in your system. So there are several ways to do this. Um, a lot of people will, uh, will cycle their system with ammonia. And that just basically means they'll start putting in some drops of ammonia, just household cleaning ammonia that you can get at Walmart or, or uh, the grocery store. They'll put drops in and they'll use a test kit like this. We use an API test kit. Okay, It's got uh, all of the different test tubes and test chemicals to, to test your water. They'll test it. And what they'll see is, is they'll add ammonia drops until the water is, you know, one or two parts per million ammonia. And there will be nothing uh, showing up in, in regards to nitrites or nitrates yet. So they'll watch it. And uh, bacteria from the, in the air, um, in the water, uh, you know, just kind of around them will colonize their system and begin to grow. So they'll oxidize that ammonia and start producing nitrites. So you just keep testing. And once nitrites show up, that's a good sign. It means that the bacteria are starting to establish. Um, after nitrites show up, you'll start to see nitrates down the road. Now, it usually takes about six weeks to go from just raw, straight up water uh, with a little ammonia in it to water that is uh, producing uh, nitrates. And uh, the, the bacterial colonies that establish and do that are mostly on the substrate, the media inside of your system. So that six week rule is fairly hard and fast, especially for new systems. Um, it's very difficult to speed it up. Some folks will sell uh, inoculation kits, but uh, I don't really like those. I feel like they're introducing the wrong kinds of bacteria. You want bacteria that are uniquely adapted to your system. The way that we typically cycle systems is we take live water, that is water from our system that already has all that bacteria in it, and we use it to fill up a new system. Or we'll take towers uh, that we're culturing in one system, uh, we call them nurse towers, and we'll put them in another system. Uh, because they're lightweight, we can ship them, we can move them around very easily. And they'll provide that bacterial, uh, all of that um, cycling power immediately, simply because uh, the bacteria are already established on the surface area of the media. But for most folks, that's not really an option. So um, think about doing it the traditional way, either using household ammonia, uh, some people will use urine, some people will, uh, these are all called fishless cycling because you're not using any fish. Some people will throw feeder goldfish in and expect a few to die. Okay, so they'll go in there, they'll start producing ammonia and some of the fish will die from basically poisoning themselves with ammonia. But what you'll see is you'll see those microbial communities start to establish um, and begin processing that, that waste in ammonia. Um, and other folks will just kind of uh, start throwing your fish in. Now, I don't recommend that. If you're going to do a fish-based cycling, definitely, definitely, definitely use feeder goldfish, something inexpensive, something cheap. Um, and I guess you have to have no ethical qualms about sacrificing animals uh, to get your system going. But um, for most folks, fishless cycling is the way to go. Or if you have another aquaponics practitioner close by that you can get some water from, if they have a disease-free system, uh, that's always a great way to start, or some media from. Uh, specifically, you know, if, if you have someone that's using a tower in your area, see if you can borrow a tower from them for a few weeks, and uh, it will allow you to get started very quickly and very effectively right from the get-go. You're not going to be waiting around for six weeks um, for your system to get started. Now, while you're cycling, you can start planting. So you can start putting plants in, but I warn you, you'll probably see some nutrient deficiencies because you're adding ammonia and not all of the uh, other plant nutrients that are required by the plants are being produced in the system. So keep that in mind. You can begin to plant. It will actually help your system cycle, but your plants will probably have some nutrient deficiencies. Um, so you can watch our other videos to learn how to deal with those. But uh, by and large, if you've got a test kit, Cycling should be a fairly simple, easy thing to do. There are tons of resources online regarding this as well. But it's an easy process once you kind of understand what's going on. And so long as you continue to test, uh, you're not going to be caught by surprise uh, as, as far as your ammonia levels, nitrites, and nitrate levels. So, good luck. 
And uh, feel free to shoot us email, uh, contact us via YouTube if you've got any questions regarding this process. All right, well, welcome to our video uh, tour of our greenhouse. This behind us is the greenhouse. You can see the fish house here, and we've got our greenhouse kind of heading on an east to west axis there. It's a double layer.